Hello, darling. Couldn't you sleep either? No. I'm going to talk to you both. Looks like you've been picked at the post, mate. Well, can't it wait, Sharon? Your mum and I got things to discuss. I'll be fair, then. We've got all day. She's got to get ready for school. That's just it, Mum. I'm not getting ready for school. Not today, not this term. I'm leaving. We've been over this before. Yeah, and I've always let you talk me out of it, Dad, but not this time. Look, I've really made up my mind, so there's no point in trying to blackmail me, because it won't work. I just want to stop you making a fool of yourself. Look, darling, you've thought it out, all right, but we've got to talk about it, find out what you're going to do with yourself. Yeah, you've got to make plans. You just can't snap your fingers and expect the rest of the world to fit in around you. Why not? You do. That's because I know where I'm going. Well, so do I. Oh, what's the burning ambition this week? Look. Miss World or Mother Teresa? Even if we did say you could leave school, right? It's not the end, you know, it's just the beginning. You've got to do something with your life, darling. That doesn't mean having half-baked ideas about being a pop star. Well, I'm not going to be dependent on you forever, that's for sure. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Look, darling, what your dad's worried about, and me, is that although you think you've got all the answers, it's a tough old world out there. It ain't going to be as easy as you think. Well, other people seem to manage. I'll get it for you. Thanks, Paul. Oh, I don't care, Oh, no. Morning. Look, I'm sorry to bother you, but... I'm starting to organise this new store and it's going to mean a few changes. I just don't think we ought to talk it over. Yeah, OK. Well, it's going to mean I won't be able to do dinners anymore. But I can still come in the odd evening if you want me. Yeah, of course. Your job's here as long as you want it, you know that, huh? right? Yeah, just let us know how you're fixed. Well, I'm trying to organise everything today. You know, supplies and outworkers. That's if I can afford them. Probably end up just being me, though. Does that mean you're going to be knitting behind the bar now, then? Yeah, probably. <laughs> still, I'll let you know how it all goes anyway, all right? All right. See you later. See what I mean? Kath does her own thing. You don't mind fitting in around her, do you? That's because she's a lot older than you. And she's got more experience of life. Well, look at Mary, then. She's a few years older than me and she manages to bring up a baby on her own. Yeah, and she had to take up stripping to do it. Well, she don't do that no more, does she? No, but there's one or two things she does do that I don't want you copying. And one of them's running around with a certain Turkish minicab driver with a wife and a couple of kids. Even Michelle's allowed to sort her own life out. And look at the mess she's made of that. All you're doing, darling, is proving my point, not oh. yours. Here's your coffee. No, thanks. I reckon you owe me a bit more than that this morning. What are you talking about? A little bet we made a few months ago about a certain young lady. What? Mary? Hey. What? You're telling me you finally cracked it with Mary, are you? Do you want proof? No, 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 I trust you. Might be interesting, though, eh? I'm glad that wasn't a disappointment to you. Don't you try and worm your way out of it, you little creep. You must be really pleased with yourself, mustn't you? I mean, you really took me in, didn't you? I didn't realise it was just a little boy's game. Leave them, Mary. They're not worth you it. You try and get out of this. I'm going to get you for it. And that's not a threat. It's a promise. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. You talk to be ashamed of yourselves. You're pathetic. 